when patients with chronic rhinosinusitis come to see a doctor or a pharmacist, they often ask about the first-line treatment options. And then we can consider a couple of options that could alleviate the symptoms in the majority of these patients. And first of all, we, as a European expert panel, would recommend nasal douching with saline as one of the first treatment options that patients could consider when they have chronic sinus disease. Nasal douching with saline means that patients are advised twice a day to rinse the sinonasal cavity with a saline solution, allowing them to rinse away all the pro-inflammatory triggers that are responsible for the disease development, as well as all the mediators that are released by the immune system and that contribute to the chronicity of the disease. Quite often we associate nasal douching with the prescription of a drug that is called a corticosteroid and we would recommend the spray with corticosteroid in association with nasal douching as first-line treatment for patients with chronic sinusitis. We consider the combination of nasal douching and nasal steroids effective in the majority of the patients that properly use this combination. The problem is that not all patients are adherent to these treatments or not all patients like to douche the nose on a regular basis and that would like to have alternative treatments. In those patients that fail nasal steroid treatment as well as nasal douching, we would recommend going one step further in the treatment algorithm that we find in the EPOS document. And the EPOS document is the European position paper on rhinosinusitis and nasal polyps. And there we would recommend as one of the other treatment options, long-term use of antibiotics. Not the regular antibiotics, but more antibiotics that are actually having an anti-inflammatory effect. Meaning that they dampen the inflammation rather than killing the bacteria that are present in the sinonasal cavities. As we mentioned before, bacteria are not the main cause of chronic rhinosinusitis and may just be a trigger in the whole uh, um, etiology of patients with uh, chronic rhinosinusitis. Sinus surgery is indicated in those where we are convinced that medical treatment will not be able to cure the patient and where we think that sinus surgery is the best opportunity to reach the highest level of control in a patient. Sinus surgery is associated with a high likelihood of success in the majority of patients, but unfortunately, we cannot cure all patients with sinus surgery. In a recent large-scale study that we performed, it was shown very nicely that Two-thirds of the patients are doing very well after sinus surgery, but there is one-third of the patient that is actually um, continuing to have major symptoms, continuing to have uh, the need for oral antibiotics, even oral steroids, despite us having made major efforts in trying to optimize the condition of the sinuses by sinus surgery.